For the lead guitar track, only filters were used on the Wave CLA mix-up plugin. The high-pass filter was set to 138 Hz and the low-pass filter at 5.5 kHz. On the Metric Halo channel strip, two EQ bands were automated at 444 Hz and at 486 Hz, reducing about 4.5 decibels. This attenuated the low mids in spots with excessive energy in that frequency range. The trim plugin was used to write volume automation on the track. On the lead guitar auxiliary track that the lead guitar channel as well as all the guitar effects go to, I employed Avid's EQ3 with a 24 decibel per octave high pass filter at 183 Hz and a notch at 4.15 kHz. The high pass filter helps the guitar sit better with the bass, kick drum and the rhythm guitars, and the notch gets rid of the harsh frequencies in the high mids. Notice how with the EQ3 engaged, the lead guitar track sounds like it is part of the arrangement, and with the plugin bypassed, it sounds like the guitar is sitting on top of the track. The lead guitar is sent to the VSS3 reverb set to the ballad vocal hole preset. The reverb is heavily processed with a Sonox EQ. I employed a 24 decibel per octave high pass filter at 330 Hz and a 12 decibel per octave low pass filter at 3.2 kHz, as well as a 7.5 dB cut at 2.5 K. Additionally, the lead guitar track is also sent to the Sound Toys Echo Boy plugin. The delay is set to a quarter note subdivision sync to tempo with a single repeat. The delay return is also processed with a Sonox EQ using a 12 decibel per octave high pass filter at 182 Hz and a 6 decibel per octave low pass filter set to 5.8 kHz. Furthermore, the delay is also sent to the VSS3 reverb in order to set the echo repeats further back into the mix and separate them from the original signal. 